Welcome to Small Talk. My name is David Shaw. Boy, that was a quick transition. It just seems like five minutes ago that uh, the area where I live in was in Tier 2. Now we're in a tier that didn't even exist a few days ago. We're in Tier 4. I understand the traffic from London and the South East out of that area increased following the announcement as people tried to get out of Tier 4. I understand that the shops were so busy last evening as people tried to stock up. We're in this ridiculous situation where half the houses in the area have got too much food because they were expecting guests who can no longer come and the other half haven't got enough food because they expected to be somewhere else. For many, this just continues and increases the distress and the grief of this year. And for some, it's a body blow. The much awaited, much longed for visit to a relative or a family to spend a few days at Christmas has now been abandoned. For some, the already dreaded empty place at the table now has to be faced alone and not in the company of others. For still others, there is further anxiety and hardship on top of a year full and on top of what they dread is coming in 2021. But let's be clear, Christmas is not cancelled. Pared down, yes, not as we'd hoped for or expected, yes, lived out in demanding and challenging times, yes, but not cancelled. Cromwell tried, Herod tried to cancel Christmas, but both of them failed. For Jesus has been born, God has taken on flesh and become a human being. God has demonstrated God's love and commitment to us. And it's for such an exacting time at this that we need to tell the Christmas story. Need, people need to hear that God has become one of us. That love, joy, peace and hope have been brought with the birth of the Christ child. And so hope and even joy can be found despite the weariness and the frustration. Love and the assurance of God's presence is needed now as much as ever in the history of humanity since Bethlehem. My hope and prayer is that you will find in the true meaning of Christmas enough and all that you need to sustain you through this journey through Christmas into 2021 and into however long this wretched virus has a hold on this country. So because Christmas hasn't been cancelled, I say with all my heart, have a happy and blessed Christ-filled Christmas. Happy Christmas.